Pyramid made front page news even before it opened, as local magistrates refused to license the building for cinematograph performances when it was first ready to open. This was due to some technical hitch in the original planning application. As its original name implies, the pyramid was Egyptian in character, both in line and decoration. The facade was flanked by four shops on either side of two pylons, which were each side of a central entrance. Above were five narrow windows, and these were divided by four lotus leaf columns. These supported a pediment. On the extreme sides were two further windows. Zellstone, resembling Portland stone, was used for the whole facade, and above the name Pyramid, in the centre of the cornice decoration, was a clock. There was a large entrance hall and an inner hall giving access to the stalls and staircases led to the cafe, lounge and circle. The decoration of the auditorium had been carried out in a bright and harmonious colour scheme of reds, greens and blues in designs of a distinctly Egyptian flavour. On either side of the projection room were wide portholes through which follow spotlights could light the variety acts that were at one time part of the pyramid's programme. The pyramid had a Christie organ with two consoles, a plain one in the orchestra well and a movable console decorated with Egyptian motives on the stage. The theatre had been designed by Drury and Gomesel and had 2,000 seats.